the wedding? Y'all gonna put it back on? Well, here's the thing. I'm still trying to what? figure out what happened with the engagement ring. What a ring at? It's a lot of stuff that happened during. Good question. I'm gonna shut up. You sold it back? I'm with that. I mean. Okay. Well, if you with that. Did you sell it back? You give it back? Damn. What did you say? Answer it. Because you didn't answer it to the What a ring at? Because I'm just saying, why is we worried about this damn ring? The love ain't went no damn well. What a ring at? Exactly. Would you have held hey, on to the ring? Hell yeah, no. Somebody but I've had something that you done gave somebody. If I done got on my knees for the first time ever in my life. You done been on your knees with me multiple times. Yeah, I was laying on my stomach. We was in the bed. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but if I get on my knees and do something I ain't never did and did it very sincerely, just because of how ever, you know, it played out. Hey. Then you get rid of the ring. I ain't just saying I get rid of it, but so it should be. So where is the ring? Where is the ring? Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Special guest in the building. Before I go there, shout out to the team. My guy, Kyron, is going crazy tonight. I told him he having an MVP night. He is said, bro, true? I did this the other day. No. MVP night. Shout out to my guy, Aaron. Aaron in the building. Aaron going crazy, too. Shout out to the whole gang. Yo, um, I wanted to start this one off different. I need y'all to go to the audio right now, to the right. If you go to the podcast, the purple podcast uh, icon on your iPhone, or you can search uh, Apple Podcasts. On the right-hand side, you're going to go to, um, well, you're going to search Mr. J Hill Podcast. On the right-hand side, after you search Mr. J Hill Podcast, you're going to push a button, a uh, um, plus sign is going to say, add this podcast to your list. You're going to add that podcast to your list. After you do that, this is what I was waiting for. You can go to YouTube. Ah, <laughs> there's once you, more. Once you, once you go to YouTube, this is what you're going to do, right? You're going to find Mr. J Hill Podcast on YouTube. You're going to like, subscribe. And I don't think we need no other. We don't need no further introduction. What can they do, Mozzie? <laughs> what are they going to do, Mozzie? I like Make sure that. you go to Mr. J Hill Podcast. You can ring that bell. Ring that bell. That bell. Ring a ding a ding. Wow. Hey. I haven't heard that in a while. I just almost got emotional from that. You talking about nostalgia. That was nostalgia. crazy. Yeah, that crazy. was. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. That was hard. I'm not going to cry though. <laughs> Bro, did you like. Oh, so I'm. Let me not get ahead of myself. <sighs> right. Because right, right. I could. We family. <laughs> right. We got right. Amy and Mozzie in the building. Yes. What's good, y'all? This is different. Yeah, this is real different. <laughs> like, <laughs> last time I was here, what like He was this? talking bad about me last time he was. I was no. I was in my feelings. He was now, in his feelings. I'm not going to Me personally. I watched it. I think I'm getting, I can't make this up. My hair is sticking up. I swear to God on my life. Why? Because this is so dope. Like, I. this is cliche to say, but I'm going to say it. It's real. Outside of the cameras, this is, oh my God. <laughs> I can't make, like, I'm a fat, like, the, this is, the I can't, you, you did spoke the, walk, it, the fact that you did the walk down, though, like, you did the walk down. Bro. The fact that last time I saw him, he was like, I guarantee you. And I was like, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Facts. I, 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 can, I, I can honestly say I love y'all, for real. Yeah. Like, not even, like, oh, not, no, like no fake industry. But Outside of the just, cameras and yo, like yeah, different the love you don't show. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. And how you? you and know but it's been like, real love because right, he show more right. love like off camera versus yeah, a different. lot of people show us yeah. love. It's like it's cameras different. on. Oh, we love y'all. But cameras off. Like see I can't you next say year. This this interview, the Jay here interview is like I done did a few interviews. You know, coming up doing that type of stuff. You gonna do interviews, but just this one it. 
I appreciate y'all, yeah. man. For black like, man, I, keep doing your thing, black man. Yo, but yeah, let's <laughs> go back to it, man. So when you hear that, right? First of all, what like did you? I feel like I already know this. You just had to come up with that. You ain't see that nowhere else, cause I never heard it nowhere. Yeah, else. yeah. I uh, what, we know what, the song. Yeah, the song. Yeah. that's where I got it from. Once I I thought I'm like ring the bell. You can ring my. Cause he shocked me with it with the first time he did. I was like, new intro to YouTube. <laughs> where that come from? Yeah, it was just so my. Cause that's how I am, bro. Like if it's, it, it, I'm like I don't need time to. And once I get it, I just go with what I think about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. Just curious. When we first start the YouTube video, so damn, do I have to paint a picture of everybody? Like, I don't it's want, like, been, well, I don't want to do journalism. It. It's yeah. been a minute. I know it don't seem like it was a long <sighs> time, but a year and some changes. Do I have a long to do time. the journalism thing? Kind do of. Your, do your thing. You kind of do. You do. Everybody don't know. Uh, this gal hit her. She she's on television now. You know what I'm saying? We came from the YouTube world to yeah. her. She's and, on and we just was TV. having we was just having a conversation about like not always coming to the game, assuming people assuming yeah. people know. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so I gotta work. Okay, yeah, you whatever. Gotta you gotta do your you thing. Thing work. upgrades come with a little <laughs> oh, more work. Gotta go to work. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. For well, you guys that don't know, any of Mozzie been a thing before loving hip hop, before all of that stuff that you see on the internet right now. Like, you guys were, when I say inspiration, motivation, hope to like the real couples. And I say that because, like, seeing you guys come up, like, um, for the people that don't know, they, um, they had a, a YouTube channel. Real relationships, but it was different from if you like a OG YouTube relationship watcher, you understand. Um, help me out, y'all. De'Ara and Ken, right? You know that like, they like goats, right? right? You know that that's one, yeah. right? But they were different. You guys were different because it was like it showed you more the rawness, everyday, yeah, the raw rawness. relationship, yeah. the everyday relationship. I mean, yeah. he left her in a damn hanger. The the the, the Y'all always gonna go was, back to the it sex was swing. Real. It the was like swing. We, we, I was like, we couldn't, we couldn't, damn, you know, like figure just, out how to use it. I can't cut it and say, you know, you done been up there the whole time, so I gotta leave your ass up here. So I went and got that salad and got what? I forgot. <laughs> she was tight. She was. Still and the up. fact that so many people did the video after us, and it was so cringy because it was like, this is fake. This mm. is definitely not real. Mm. Like. Y'all not really doing Wait, that. so when y'all first started the since I'm here, got to work. So when y'all first started the the YouTube, right? What was the thought process behind it? It wasn't none at first. I didn't I am not going to lie. We came into YouTube well, me. I didn't even think it would be as successful when our YouTube mentor was kind of pitching the idea to us. I I don't know if you remember that, but I was like, I don't know. I don't think they don't like us on YouTube. We too like yeah, us yeah, like I don't yeah. wake up every day and put the makeup on and the hair and he don't wake up yeah. and I was like looking at all the YouTube couples like they're so polished and yeah. she's so pretty all day but, and I was like we ain't gonna make it on YouTube they come from a good home background yeah so yeah like all the other YouTube couples yeah like they come. it seemed really polished with them yeah but that's what we, we had a team it. kept saying do it do it do it and when we did it how it took off I was like, damn, we should have did this two years ago. Because mm. the first mm. video at the, the three bedroom, the crib, like, you know what I'm saying? Hey. It was the most low graded videos. Yeah, but people was loving them for some reason. <laughs> I was like, why do they like this? So, but you was doing music already. You was doing music already. Right. Did y'all see a spike in the individual careers too as well? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Like even the video, like, like. In my bag, looking like it, like mm -hmm. the videos that we would do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, music or whatever we would do, it was going up. Videos, yeah, and plus because they were falling in love with a couple, but just the male fan base naturally with him was like, I want to see what he got without her. And the girls were like, Okay, I love you and him, but let me see what you can mm. teach us. So it worked in three ways: the couple or individual. It was yeah. just All they right, rocked so with it. Let's get straight to it then, since y'all want to. Y'all know I, I don't care. Yeah, I know, right? I'm but nervous. Whatever. Let's, let's work. I'm so, nervous. Let's go to work. So, we have a great time. I mean, monumental career. Mm. YouTube go out. There. First of all, who idea was it? To do YouTube? Yeah. We had a meeting. It was brought to us, honestly. Yeah. 
Shout out to Chaos. Shout out to Chaos Shatiz. Um, he brought it to us. He was already like really big in the YouTube world, filming all the stars and doing all the content. And we were just friends on the musical side. So he used to come to a lot of open mics I had. Um, and then, of course, when Mozzie and I started dating, he started rocking with him. And once he met him, he was like, sis, you should do YouTube with him. I'm like, I don't think they'll watch us. I don't think they'll. Then the fans, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, everybody here is like, y'all should do a YouTube. YouTube. And we, mm-hmm. I'm like, you, what, what, what? I didn't even think y'all they was paying on YouTube, on YouTube like that. Y'all can just do this. You know what I'm saying? So, so like, who did the most work for the YouTube? I can say, to be honest, I can't lie. Like, this, this guy here got a bunch of ideas. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got ideas, like, that I wouldn't think about because mm. I'm, like, on the man type side. But it's like, yeah, I know how to add to what she's, you know what I'm saying, come up with. So it's like whenever she do something, I just... That's different. You know what I'm saying? See, I was already kind of doing the skits and YouTubes before me and Mozzie met. So when he came down from Texas, we met in the season where I was like the skit girl. I was the YouTube girl. I was kind of getting pulled into it, but I was just doing it, partnering with people who would either pay me to come and do the skit or come for free and just do content. So when me and him met, it was almost like I was wanting to do YouTube, but I didn't really feel like... I didn't know the world. So I'm like, they're not going to watch me on YouTube. So us naturally going viral, just setting up the camera, doing our relationship thing. We didn't even plan YouTube. We 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 were seriously like, we're going to try it. Mm. We didn't feel like it was going to work. And when it just started going and going viral and the money started coming in, I was like, I guess we YouTubers now. Yo, since we talking about YouTube, they're going to have to wait for the juicy part. That's what they do on YouTube anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> they wait. Because I'm a fan. I got real questions. Yeah, real talk. Yeah. And I'm glad. I want you to ask the real one. Because like, yeah. that to will the help juicy. us to not yeah. have to continue to Go, answer. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about it, but I'm just curious about just, just... It's funny that y'all say that because usually it's the opposite way, right? Like, usually the guy's like, yo, let's do this. They put the work in, but when everything do go, if it do go opposite ways... The woman always going to recoup. Facts. Always. We we should recoup. No. The way we work is sitting on the balls, rubbing on the balls, That's taking not, the mental stress, the oh physical stress. God. It's so All unfair. It. How? Talk about De'Ara and Ken, right? I know for a fact. What? I know for a fact Ken put in most of the work. And then kind of. That's not fair. And then bro. cheated though. That's, oh, she took the page. Okay. So, so, no, not the page. No, no. She, she, she don't need the page. She left it because. <laughs> she left. But why? Okay. All right, so all we right. can't talk about one without okay, the other. Okay. Okay. But he would, what he was doing. You so just apparently said, he cheated. Allegedly. 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 I don't, allegedly I don't know. Allegedly. I really don't know. I don't give a. But alleged, but what I'm saying is like Morgan most times going. the man will do most of the work, right? <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, Wait, yeah. what? You he remember did, that? He did have that video. They were sending us the like, video like, I hope this ain't you and Mozzie. We was like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, about that. we got that for months. That yeah. video? Yeah, we did. Like that's, but that's sad. It's like, yo, I'll do all the work. But it's like, now nah, don't get it. Now nah, work like, like nah, I just, nah, ideas is different than me yeah. actually having the Physically, physically working, the, yeah. The, yeah, cause you can't get this from what I do from everybody. You feel right. what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm gonna be myself. I ain't trying to act like nobody. None of that. So it was like, long as she, some, you know, I may have some ideas here and there, but most of the time, Lou be like, my, I'm like, just do it, Lou. I'm cause I was yeah. already, you know, like whatever. Like, come on, I, I got you. you. I got you. Yo, Mazi, let me ask you this. So before before y'all got together, Mazi was already. I mean, before y'all got together, Amy was already like. She had shit going yeah, on. Yeah, she she had a little stuff going on at the time. She had shit going. You know what I'm Don't saying? put little I mean, stuff could, on my stuff. She big stuff. She she honestly, she could have had a a, 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 a love of hip hop back then. Real it was talk. offered it twice. Real He'll talk. tell you, yeah. this hey. is my third offer yeah. Yeah. Because, for love of hip hop. Because because we really just won't have to go into who, but because yeah. the situations are going on. Yeah. But doing that, it was I'm like curious, perfect though. You being in a mm-hmm. relationship where you never like was you never had like insecurities about that or nothing. Nah. Never? I on, I've always on, on, wondered that. I would. I ain't gonna lie to man, you. Man, listen to me. Because at the end of the day, 
what's for me gonna be for me. So if it wasn't mm -hmm. her and she was with whoever she was trying to be with, then she wasn't for me, you feel me? Mm. And I'm a person who I believe in me, it's in me, not on me. I don't, like I just said, I'm gonna act. I don't have to put on or turn on no switch to be who I am. So it's like, oh, I believe in me. I know who I am as well. That's how it doesn't work. So like the same background that she may have got or whatever, mine may not be as, you know, uh, you know, highlighting as hers, but Oh, I man, I got a testimony myself. You feel me? That's Facts. crazy that you said it because, like, usually, like, I mean, this was years ago. And when we young, we all have our insecurities some places, and we'll talk about it. But, like, that probably would have, for me, it probably would have been one of them. Because, Amy, I'm pretty sure, just like they say when it rains, it pours, everything is the same way. Right. If you're dealing with a high profile celebrity, right. I'm pretty sure other celebrities are probably beating down your DM, too. Right. Yeah. And I ain't bothered you once at all. I used to be in up looking like, man, I <laughs> Man, I, we'll be laid up in a bed. I'd be like, look at this, you, man. I'm so big on loyalty and trust. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. And then she was, she was somebody who would come and let me know things or, you know, certain things. You know, I know how they say women going to let you know what they want you to know or whatever. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it was like, she would come in, you know, keep it a book with me. Like, yeah, this is Because I always felt like I didn't want it to be a situation with us where we're coming around because I always projected and saw us going up and going to the next level after the next level. So I feel like the least thing you can do as a female of the industry and knowing how some guys in the game feel like I'll buy this and end this situation. So he's in rooms, I'm in rooms. Sometimes he's in rooms I'm not in. So I'm like, not on a messy tip, but you should know like, okay, this person tried to send this or this person tried to do this, but I feel like it come with all the relationships. If you're in the industry, I done seen DMs from some of the heifers that I thought rock with me. Mm. And I was like, when we broke up, like looking at his comments, like, mm, really? Her? So it just come with it. Then I don't know how to keep it business too. No matter even if you have jumped in a DM, I know how to act like I don't, I haven't seen it when That's I have. That's some real shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. Because I'm, man, I'm. That's, my it ain't for the week. Bigger, my vision, it ain't for the my week. My vision, big. I know who I am as a person. And that's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, cr that's, that's some of the realest ever. That ain't never been my problem. My problem just, you know, being me coming from where <laughs> I come from, the street life, and just, I always had my mom. I can't lie. My mama, she did damn good for my god mama, grandmama, and the other people that was around to take care of me. You know, it was like, you know, coming up, I didn't have to too much worry about like how everybody else worried about my clothes or these different things. Man, you just need to be good in school. So growing up, that kind of, you know, that was all the only thing I was worried about either being good at school or not trying to go to jail. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, Managing was my most important thing. Just making sure I mm. could do the things that I didn't learn, that I didn't know, that I, you know what I'm saying, that I haven't had the chance to learn. Yo, right. I, it's 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 so hard for me to do this interview right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah. Why? I really f with y'all. Yeah, Listen, like, you, but you still gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, I like yeah. I really love like like it's yeah. I'm looking because I'm like, not gonna hold you. I from a private stalking page because I was stalking you the whole breakup. <laughs> I watched our interview. And I was just like, I really saw it from a different perspective because I felt like he was so open with you compared to a lot of the other interviews. So I learned, honestly, a lot about how he viewed the breakup and the, about the breakup and about me kind of through you. I feel like with a lot of other platforms, I was like, oh, that was, it was too soon. Y'all talked to him too soon. Those weren't real feelings, but. I had time. Yeah, I feel like by the time he said with you, it was the first interview I was like. I might unblock this I, nigga. I think he felt the same way because it's crazy because we talked and I think you said your mom's watched it. Yeah. yeah. And he that. was like, yo, my mom's was like, yeah. right? Like, yeah. he was oh, like, God. I remember that. Yeah. He was like, yeah. my mom's loved it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. She, your mom's, she it, was like, she, you was a good uh, sure. inter it was interviewer, good. you know what I'm saying? And so, I think she would like, you know, you she, They said it was good. Yeah. yeah. It was she great. was like, it was good. Yeah. 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 He told me, he was like, yo, it was, yeah. I was watching it by my nails, but. We talking about yours. Oh, mine? Yeah, yeah, nah. Mine yeah. was nice. And my mama caught, she caught, yeah, yeah. What, it wasn't? Nah, nah, yours is different. It was. It was fire. It was fire. It was different. It was hard. Yeah, it was like, different. Uh, it, was, it was. I feel like y'all been trying to jump me. Like, no, what? no, it was good. He, I'm saying he called me. 
oh. telling me how good it was. Oh, you watched my interview? Yeah. Because oh, he don't let me know stuff no, like that. Hold on, hold on. He I don't let watch, me know stuff like that. I didn't that. watch all of it. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> yeah. I, I watched his whole I started, interview. I started it and went through scrolling. I you watched the whole interview with some popcorn. Because mm. I was I was like, my my, men, my mental is, you know, most important. And I know how much love I got for it. So just to sit here and watch this whole interview and maybe not hear some of the things that I might want to hear is like, nah. nah so that's to it. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Now, I just want to set up the stage. Before we get to right now, let's go back there if y'all don't mind. The exactly. reason from you and the reason from you. Then, not now. Your reason was? <laughs> Two different reasons. What was your reason? Then. I forgot. So you don't you don't know he the reason. With, oh my god, huh? He got back. He got back. So you good. don't know he the like, reason why we broke up. Yeah, your reason. Oh, your reason though. But I know he said my reason. Yeah, your, your reason. reason. Cause it's so different from mine. Yeah, not now. Not now. Not now. After we talked about it. After we came to an so agreement. So what was my reason? Hell I'm asking. Hell. See, that's how you know, friend. It was cap. <laughs> You know that the reason was capped because he don't even remember what he told you okay, the reason was. I'm just was. not a person that just hold, stick on stuff. Like, I just move forward. This is going, true. So, in, in, his, is in, true. in his defense, I don't think Mozzie ever had a reason, but I don't think he liked how you handled it, I think. Right. I think, like, so, and I'm, because I, I didn't even prepare because I'm like, right. I fuck with y'all. Just being real. I think from Mozzie's perspective, it was like, you don't do that. Like kind of yeah. right, yeah. From you had more of a reason, right? Right. right Mozzie right, was like, man, right. like see it through. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, I, I if I'm understanding, I right. can't yeah, say yeah. though. I can say okay. Since we go this there, past tense though, again, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I can say that. You know, even at the time, I still felt like you know we should have we should have stuck it out, fight it. You know what I'm saying? But as a woman and coming from you know knowing, I ain't let's not get to understanding yet. Okay, not, not yet. Oh yeah, well, not yet, not yet. I didn't have no understanding. Okay, okay. Because it's like, was mine, you know what I'm saying, or what we believe we gonna, what we say we are gonna do, we gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? We had, we we, we had a deep conversation. Mm. So it's bigger than just some things that I might have a problem with that I need to learn. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you talking about somebody that you planning on being with for the rest of your life. I got 20 more years or 30, 40 more years to live. You know what I'm saying? So don't just hold me to the ones that I may have lived, but not even learn the right way. You mm. feel me? Give me time to be with you. You know, hold this down with you. Hell, I'm faithful. Everything I do, I'm bringing it to the highs. It's like, that's what it is. Man, that time. And if I'm willing, and it's, if I got to learn, I'm willing to learn. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a girl or whatever. Be he, a he make it sound so nice. And at, at the we, again, we talk about so nice. At, at the time, a year ago, for you, is more about stability. That was it. I I will always say like when when we broke up, it was so many people around me. Like as far as my immediate friends and family, like girl, you got a faithful guy who's this, that's that. And the one issue is like, and and I wanted to clarify because it was a lot of confusion. People were running with this whole scenario of Mozzie's broke, Mozzie this. It's like. We both doing a YouTube. If you seeing me, you know I'm not broke. If we both going 50-50, you know he's not broke either. But my one issue was I felt like, and we talk about this. Like, yeah. this is not the first time I'm hearing this. Like, I felt like we were making the income, and our income was changing, and it was growing. And it was like, this was the blessing that our broke asses was asking for when we first met. Mm. Now, I felt like once we came into the financial blessing, we had two different end games. And for me, that was a fear as a woman. Like, 
We were planning a wedding the next year. We had just bought the house. It's like our mortgage is here. It's cars <laughs> got to get paid off. He got children. I'm trying to have a baby. It's, it was a lot. And I think that oh, I noticed really. year five, because people had this thing like, well, you didn't notice that all them years you waited to year five to leave. Year five was for me where the real money started coming in. And I felt like at the point where we were about to get married, our end games was different. He was focused on like investing in the studio, investing in his career and in, investing in image and jewelry and just the, the image of the artist. And as much as I kind of agreed and understood that, I'm a woman. I was already, once we got in the house, I was already thinking of paying off the house. I was thinking of the big wedding. I was thinking of like debts being paid off, but our mentalities are different. I am a person who I try to hold on to it more and I am an overthinker to a default. He's a person like if we made a hundred thousand, why would you be trying to sit here and penny count and do all this? Let's invest it in this and let's do this. I'm like, you going too fast. Like, this is not going to work. Like, I don't look at money like that. I'm a person who kind of, and we still don't agree to this day on this. Was, I'm going to sit on it. And then, and then I, I that's did, also seen how much, you know, we brought to the table together. You know what I'm saying? And like, what, like, it was just like, man, we just, yeah, we, it was crazy how everything with it. <laughs> well, we went to it was going fast. fast. Like I just said earlier today, we went from a, Con time, well, my three bit, what my crib. You had crib. the uh the, the shit that you been had. Yeah, then you the met her with the then family. Then the condo, condo then within the three two months. Condos, then the man, like, bro, shit. I'm a like, listen, listen. But he to never who, expressed to that this was going too I'm fast. A who Let me comes, say that. I'm a guy who, you know. I leave my dudes eyes to go and do my own thing. Like, not saying that I had it together. I'm yo. Young, like I'm one of the guys that you may have looked on the street. I might be out here, big strut, like anything in the street. You know what I'm saying? G got drugs, trying to sell, do all these type of things, like, but not even doing it the right way because I ain't have no guidance. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like to come to that, to this, and to getting all this, you know, moving in. It's like, oh man. It's but I feel me. like you could have been a more, a little more open. Yeah, about I those yeah, things. I, I feel like I didn't learn a lot of this stuff to I'm the secretive. breakup. Secretive. It was almost like I felt like as the woman, I had to leave you to kind of get him to express like, well, dang, you was just it was going so quick. I'm trying to keep up. I'm like, True. I didn't think you was trying to keep up. You look very comfortable to me in the Louis Vuitton store. Mm. You look very comfortable in sex. I didn't know. So being real, my mentality Especially was. When you, yeah. It's what? crazy. Go ahead. That's the way. You spent you spent a lot on me on inside. You the one who turned me on the side. I you, turned you, you on the sex, but you ran with it my, and, my and start buying. He start you being more sex than me. You shouldn't have did. You shouldn't. You should <laughs> never no. introduce me. No. <laughs> you know it's crazy though because I don't think I don't. And I said this to you. I don't contribute that as a woman thing more so. For you horoscope guys, a Gemini thing. Like because I say this this day. When I got lit and start making money, I think you said this on Ball Alert. It's like I got broker. I start acting way broker. Yeah, because it's like I'm scared to go back. I'm petrified. Bro, no, for real. It's like, I'm bro, talking about my beginnings is humble. Walmart, working it up, airport, back. Bro, I can't Listen. ask my... She here. No, I feel Bro, that. I start making money, I start saving all of it. <laughs> like everything. What? Because like, if, if anything go wrong, oh, we ain't going back. Mm -mm. We at least gonna have this to sit on just so, for a little minute now. So I don't think that's so. I wouldn't no, say a ain't. woman thing more so a Gemini thing. No, it ain't. No, and no even no, like no, even a ain't. Scorpio. Like to be on, like yeah. to be honest, when I first like she's different now. When I first met my woman, it was all about like living Live. in now, like like appreciating. Like yo, we can have fun. like I don't want to die with nothing. Like we gotta have experiences yes. and like experience life. And I'm like, man, fuck that. Nah. <laughs> we can do that when we rich. That <laughs> is definitely mozzy. And you know what? So you got to, when, when are you rich? Like, what, what make you rich? I hear that shit, but my mindset ain't pulling me out no motherfucker. But, but what I'm shit. saying, only thing I'm saying is, like, your mindset is what got you to where you at. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things that we do that we have fun and we are lit doing. It's the things that 
But you can have so much fun and you no, wake up, the fun is over. I ain't just talking about fun. I ain't just talking about fun. The fun is over. I ain't just talking about fun. Yo. I'm just talking about fun. I'm just talking about like, yeah. Of course, you gotta save and man, I'm I gotta invest. <laughs> but but let me say this. I, I that's smart though. Like I gotta not just saying invest. Like I'm gonna spend. Like I'm a I'm. He gonna spend that check. Basically. He gonna spend it. Yeah. And and you know I will say this. I want to say for the record, like. Yo, this is Boy, nigga I'm is not horny. trying to rub on this. <laughs> Yo, you got to relax. He's a Scorpio. Don't get you one. But I would say, like, through our adversities and our different mentalities when it comes to finances and just business in general, I will say that I've always admired about him. He reminds me of one of my sisters, and I've always told her, like, if I could have all about 35% of y'all, I feel like I could be a better person because with Mozzie, we are run it up and the vacation is already planned in his world because in his mind, it's like, we just worked three months for this. You got the money you talking about already did it. But my thing is, so we're not going to take three days and kick Come our on, feet up. Man. I'll I be say, like, no, we're not. I can't make this up, bro. I, I say, yo, one thing I love is that like, you are always going to like, make sure you good and not in a negative, like on some pot, like, cause it's times where I'm not making sure I'm good because I'm going to work, 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 work. And like one thing about my girl is like my fiance is like she going to make sure like now nah, you got to enjoy the fruits of your labor. What's like I need that. Without, like, I okay. swear I can't make that up. Yeah. What's life without it? It's like, yeah. it's like you get stuck on work, 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 work. Oh no. We're going to, we're going to balance this thing out. Mm. So I think we it's just another gotta, thing she introduced. Yeah, balance. I think we just <laughs> got to meet, you know what I'm saying, in the middle and try to, you know what I'm saying, balance yeah. it out. Yo, so we got that the original, right? Coming back together after ha having that conversation of like understanding. Yeah. If y'all had to say one thing that was, I guess, together or y'all had agreement on mm -hmm. about the breakup, what was it that y'all agreed on? Did y'all agree on anything? To be okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, no. It... <laughs> you need some you more. You want to go? You need some more, Amy? I um, I can say to, that it took the breakup to agree that me and Mozzie's scenario is so different. Like I don't I don't know anybody around us whose scenario worked like us. We came into the space of like social media, mm. the e-commerce world, the like YouTube world. We came into this young end and it was just like broke and then, oh wow, we woke up and got money and oh wow, now we in this mansion. Oh, look at your car, look at my car. But I can say one thing we talk about privately that we both agree, agree with is it was going so fast. We never once like stopped and looked back. I never looked back and was like, how, how you feeling about all this? Like yeah. this new life. Mm. Like I never asked it once because, and he says the same up. thing to me. He says, I was keeping up the whole time, but that's something that men, I can't relate to like mm. him keeping the face and saving the face. Like, listen, I'm in oh, hyper overdrive because you wanted to move into this mansion. She was ready you to wanted to move in the condo. She was ready But you never all, said you uh, wasn't but ready. But it's like I ain't gonna stop you from trying to grow though. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, yeah. How much, how much was that? Do you feel like it was pressure though? Cause as a man, I feel like sometimes, like even me, I'm to be honest, like my girl came around saying. My girl came I'm gonna tell, around. I'm gonna tell sis what you she, said. I'm she text came her. around saying like. I want this, 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 and this. And as a man, I feel like I'm obligated to have it with you. If I can't give it to you, at least have it with you. Don't hold you back. How much do you? How much of the success or moving on up do you feel like was pressure? Like to be honest, it was the whole way. Yeah, you talking about? That makes me feel so shitty. Nah, it's and, uh, it's the truth, and I love that. But yo, it makes me feel bad. You have no you idea. The time, so when. A certain something happened and it was able to we was able to start you know what I'm saying it was like damn hold on I need to go over here and see what I could do to start making me some. some but you know I wish you had a said it you know mm. if you had to say like honestly if you had to say babe we're not ready to move into this house but we're I not so I would have been like two more months in the condo then but you gotta think I'm, I'm happy that you able to just be straight without having to worry about nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But that was our disconnect because you were so worried about me being straight and you were not being honest and vocalizing, hey, we should pump the brakes. You was letting me yeah. run it and run it and run it. Yeah. And it was almost like you just kind of was... Yeah, that's what it... You didn't speak on it until it got bad. That's how I felt like. Yeah, you didn't speak true. on it until it got bad. Yo, speaking of that though, right? And I'm curious. This might not be nothing. Speaking on it until it got bad. 
how much of the relationship, before we even get all the success, how much do you contribute to even, we hear this thing called trauma bonding. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we, we, we bond to people who got similar, tra- similar, similar. Trauma, traumas to us. Mm-hmm. How much do you contribute that to trauma bonding? I, I will contribute. I think it did. Yeah, yeah, it do. Ain't that crazy how like you can see somebody struggling and it looks so familiar and it's like, that's the person that I love. Yeah. That's yeah. the one I want to be with. And when it's like, that's not even real love. Right. Man. And as much as y'all learn to love each other and y'all grew to love each other, at first, if you look back on it, it's like, bro, we were just connecting off of off some of that. bullshit, honestly. And yeah. then and then when it happened so fast, like for us, honestly, when Mozzie and I met, it was a wrap. Mm-hmm. I almost say like week four, week three, I was already prepared. People was getting cut off left and right. I knew I, what it was as soon as I met them. But I can say that the the bad part about like falling in love kind of overnight is, yeah, I found my person, but we didn't really give the time to Get let to me know about your traumas. Because yeah. I need to share about you. I didn't have a father figure. Let me talk about yours. And yeah. now it's so many years into it. We're going on year six. We had to go through this major explosion to be like, oh, you had these type of personal issues because of past family issues. I never share with you what happened to me as a little girl. Mm. We never stopped and did that. We were like almost like, hey, I'm Amy. Hi, hey, I'm Ozzy. I met him handing me a CD. He handed me an album. And I'm like, oh, I rap too. Oh, you rap? I do skits. I do YouTube. We start hanging there. Next thing you know, we went viral. Next thing you know, we was a couple. Then the money. Then it was going. We never stopped and was like, Tell me about your family. Mm. Tell me about your childhood. Yeah. We only learned about it through arguing. Well, I've been through this nigga too. Like, oh, oh, Amy, I know you've been through that. I'm only expressing it because I'm mad. So trauma bonding first is a real thing. And it's almost like we're unraveling and kind of going in reverse now. We should have took our time in the beginning. We didn't. Mm. It's, it's no blue, blue, blueprint to it. But I can say like year six. This unraveling is like, yeah, now I'm asking questions like, tell me about your childhood. Like, mm. tell me how you were in middle school. Tell me about your first crush. Tell me when you lost your virginity. Like, we never had those conversations because money was so involved mm. so fast. It is like, not a money here. Yeah. We didn't want to grab these things. We got to obtain them. We have to keep them. We need to keep talking about money then, for a little while. We just had, it, was just, I, it was just a little, I don't know. When we first met, it was just crazy because we didn't, separate you know what i'm saying like we was just and i ain't gonna say we weren't learning each other but i feel like we was just it was just ha- we was just happy to have that person that was like mm-hmm. the opposite Ooh. sex but that was like got me. it like and it was like mm. yeah mm-hmm. let's just you gotta look go, this way let's Mazi. just go yeah my bad <laughs> <Just, just, laughs> yeah. you gotta <laughs> say that shit you feel let's me? just go from here and try to make the best out of it but not knowing after the time passing by those traumas like you talking we about. We should have been having appear, them conversations you know for mm. sure. Yeah. Yo, ain't it? But it's, we hear all these talks about toxic relationship and this and that. But ain't it kind of dope that you go through? You got to. That. Because yeah. it's like, that's just like, even like what you probably done went through the final of the hell to Jay Hill. You know what I'm saying? Like these people that go through, man, without, without no hard work or without no, not thinking that it was gonna work, but you still kept. Doing, that's the, that's the, that's the 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 beauty of it. Cause you over here not even thinking it's gonna work, but just because you kept going and mm-hmm. and you just knew that it was gonna work, it worked. Bro, not even like forget the J Hill shit, right? And it's like I want to be careful with my words because I don't want to like promote toxicity in relationships, but yeah. right, like just being super honest, bro. Like me and my shorty went through shit that like I wouldn't I wouldn't promote nobody to stay through, to be honest. Really? Yeah, like just being honest. Why? Cause it more so wasn't perfect. No. Yeah. But everybody's going through it. it was, Ours uh, is just a little more public. Yeah, it was Yours just Yours is just a little more public. It was toxic. Like nobody should stay through. But just being honest. But y'all stuck through it. That's yeah. it, man. I'm telling you, that's it. I and mean, that's what I want people to hear, though. That, like, that's yeah. it, though, bro. Like, you gon' like, I'm, uh, I'm, I, like some, like you, like you're, you love this mom. You know what I'm saying? And then not only coming from probably a family, 
who kind of did the same thing until you can understand each other and see mm. why you doing this and knowing that this person got to love me or so, like, you know what I'm mm. saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what it is. And also when you, what I'm learning too, even dating Mozzie, like, like I say, year six is here. In two months, year six. Bro, that's crazy. I think it's on a year six. Year the same. six in two months. Like the same. Like yeah, because we, really, we all met the yeah, same, bro. Yeah. We year six in uh, February. That's crazy. Yeah, same year. I it's, think that what we're both learning together is like we have so many people, even to this day, the comments, like we might post something where I'm somewhere supporting him or he's somewhere supporting me. And you'll get a percentage of people saying like, but I thought y'all said this and that about each other. I thought you said this and this. But what I'm learning is love is like, mm. it's just not a perfect thing. You might have a mother who had her indifferences. She could have loved you a little better. Right. That does not mean your mom didn't mm. love you. It mm. just meant the capacity at the time of what she knew this is what it was. So it's no difference from my father. I had the best relationship, but I knew my father loved me. The way he loved me, I knew he could have loved me better. But that's the point of love. So going on and continuing and kind of spinning the block and going back to being like, well, let's pick up where we left at. That's the point of love because nobody ever told you love was perfect. I don't think any of us have seen one. Mm. But the purpose of love is to be like, you know what? I didn't like this about you. You didn't like this about me. That hurt me. This hurt me. Let's separate. But people are so stuck on, you need to stand on it. She made you feel this way, Jay. You need to leave her. But it's like, hold on. Because mm. when I got with this person, I knew he came with a lifelong of stuff that had nothing to do with me before I came. When you're coming and meeting a person, you are almost committing to, like, I'm going to stick with you through this, that, and the third. Y'all may kind of derail and go this way and come back, but the goal is to bring it back. So I stand on my truth. Like, when I broke with Mozzie a year ago, my family, my friends, everybody that's in my real circle, not social media, they'll tell you like, oh, she was saying he going to get it right. He going to figure this out. We going to get back together. I Even on your show, I said, oh, I didn't say I wasn't getting back with him. That's mm -hmm. what y'all said. I never answered it. Y'all right. said all these things about him. Yep. I believed even during a breakup, like, Mozzie is a good person. He's going to go figure out like, hey, do I want to be this type of man? Do I want to be this type of man? But that's a journey alone. That's not, he can't be on my journey and teach me the type of woman I want to be. He can't do that. I have to know who I want to be. I feel like the way we met, it was, a, it was a crazy scenario. And I still stand on my truth to this day publicly, even down to the TV show. We broke up because same love, two faithful people, two committed people. But if the goal for me is for me to be your wife one day and you to be my husband, and that's to e us to equally share the load of success and bills and whatever. That's all I wanted. I didn't say, I'm leaving him and fuck him. He a fuck nigga. I'm never coming back. I'm saying, sir, you got a good thing. This is not working. Let's see what you want to do. He could have decided in a year to be like, actually away from you from, from a year. I realized I don't even want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be with a girl like you. But we made our way back. So... It's this weird thing on social media that, like, when public figures break up, it don't work out to come back. And it's like, your scared. mom and daddy came back. Your, your uncle and your auntie came back. It's the same scenario. I like to scenario. say it's going to get worse before it get better, man. And, and, Damn, and, and even true. if it start off better, just, like, don't be scared of when it do get worse. Like, know how to fight it through because yeah. it's, like, you a balance. And don't be worried about the Faith. people around you. Yeah. Mm. Can I ask y'all this then? So I feel like in this world full of like, we in a different world now, full of people like love yourself. Right. Right. And I feel like that's good. You should love yourself. But with that comes the minute somebody mess up, leave. Right. I feel like that's the society we in. Love yourself. Don't let nobody take advantage. Don't let nobody do anything that you don't want done. And that's cool. But I feel like people are unbalanced, right? So it's like, okay, love myself. So whenever you do something I don't like, I'm out of the door. Nah. Where do we draw the line, though? Because even, like, for example, I'm just painting a picture, right? You not knowing. Talk to me. What you mean? If you upset with somebody or just doing some stuff off of just, like, because me, if it's something that I don't know or if it's <clears> something <throat> that she may 
put here that were put in front of me and like, okay, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, why would I leave? You know what I'm saying? It's just something that I need to get myself together on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like mm -hmm. certain shit you gotta you gotta take accountability for. You feel what I'm saying? So if you know you this type of person or you know you do this and that's the argument of what's going on, then shit, accept that shit no matter fix how many it. times, just try to fix it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's true, right? <clears throat> Especially in marriage. <clears throat> but let's say I want to paint a picture for somebody because somebody out there might be going through this. Right. Y'all had jaws and like, like, y'all line is different from somebody else's line. But let's say, let me just go to the worst possible case scenario. Somebody is cheating on a girl multiple times, right? Done. Done? You're done. Yeah, you put, you, those you're are its be. limitations to the respect and love. It's yeah. done. But I, so, you know, it's funny because I was talking to uh, Shade about this, but that in itself, is a sickness though. Cheating. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to make excuses for nobody, but that itself, like, we come from places, again, I'm not trying to make excuses, but we come from places where we don't really know no better. Right. And we we, we, we just don't know. So, hypothetically. I mean, <laughs> go ahead. I, I say that to say because, as like. A, as me, bro, I always had a vision. I always knew what I wanted. I like, no matter what uh, of the females and shit, I always knew that I wanted to be a man that had a queen beside me that had kids, and like this was my, you know what I'm saying, like my kingdom. So with that being said, I'm not, I'm the type, if it got something to do with my kingdom, so me cheating on my girl is gonna affect the kingdom. How the fuck am I gonna do that? But some, I'm saying for people who, some people, people risk right, it. But, right. but, but some people might not, might not be as mentally stable as you, as mentally tough as you, right? Let's say you have some a relationship the man cheating, the woman is, you know, some people would say dumb. Like, we had this about your friends. You yeah. was like, yo, my, like, my it's friends. It's going to be off balance. It'll never work. It won't. It'll never work. It's something else that you won't. And, mm. and, and even, if, even in a cheating scenario, I know so many people who have cheated, wife left them and came back. I can assure you, I'm right there in the middle. I'm friends with her. It's never the same. Mm. Now, granted, I'm not saying it don't. Y'all don't continue to coexist and go forward, but once you do certain things that affect the heart, like mm. the arguments we've had, we went public. We was like on some real childish shit before. That stuff didn't scar my heart because it's the, like cause that's I'm kind of I did the same thing. It was like eye for eye, T for a T. But talk. when you do stuff like it's just certain levels. The one thing, like even to non to to us to have the bond that we got, I think it got a lot to do with. The faithfulness, mm. being that I don't feel like she cheated on me while we was together. Nah, right. because we broke up, you know what I'm saying? And you went off and did what you did, cool, because you at least separated with me, you know what I'm mm. saying? Right. So that wasn't the issue. So being together, it's, man, I can't lie. I can't say that. Like, once you get that, once you get something in somebody's head and they feel like, oh, Motherfucker might be cheating or might like that's the wrong or it's certain the things cheating. in relationships that you shouldn't even be focused on, I feel like. Mm. Like cheating or stuff like that. Like that's too if it's almost scary. like what you in it for. Yeah. You know, when you when you get a person that love you and trust you and you get to the point where you cheating. I, I know a person, single. a guy who cheated, and he said, It's been seven years. My homeboy said it's seven years. I'm still fixing it. He said, my, my girl still don't lay comfortably in my arms seven years later. This is my homeboy. And I was like, so what's the difference? I'm just, you know, I'm a girl. I'm nosy. I want to know. Mm -hmm. He's like, how she lay on me is different. I'm like, I believe it. And I know a lot of people say, like, you will walk away from your good relationship from cheating. I'm not for everybody and everybody not for me. I'm not every girl. But what we've built and how, how we came and how we started and what we've been through Cause me and him know more private stuff we've been through than the public will ever know. Cause this is us into it. Cheating is one of them things that it's like, really? Mm. I can almost take the offense of us arguing and you saying something verbally. It's like, nigga, what you just say to me? What you just call me? Versus like opening the physical door and bringing another energy in. Uh, yeah, it's crazy because uh -uh. I seen um I seen a video. I'm pretty sure y'all see it. What a, uh, the girl was like, I guess the guy cheated mad times or whatever. So he was, she was like, basically, you know what we're going to do? Yes, I seen I it. ain't about to break with you. You ain't going to break with me. We're going to have like, you know, separate relationships. And me and my lady was just talking about this. And I was like, you know, it's crazy as a man. 
the first thought was, I probably could do that. But and you I can't. thought about it. Because it's not about me doing me and you doing you. It's about the people who can't. Yeah, I might be laying something down. You might be giving something, right? That somebody else can't control themselves. That's how niggas get killed. Yeah. That's like they say, opening Pan- Pandora's box. Like, like, and damn. when you get a woman to the point, we're not talking about hoes and the whores. The average woman wants one of y'all or one of her or him, one of the two. We don't really need multiple. Now, we're not talking about the scale of hoes. It's mm-hmm. just, I want all of him. His friend, that's, no. The average girl wants you. So when you opening that door and sharing it, even if she come back, I can assure you, as she looking at you saying, I'm back, I forgave you. You did do that. No, I forgave I you. I can assure you. It's going to take some real work and, and real dedication to get her to ever come back to being like, I lay with you comfortably now. I forget that. Like, single. It's a rap for me. Facts. It's a rap for me. I'm just saying, nah. Yeah, he know that I know that. Yeah. We've been talking about it since the beginning. We can go through A, B, and C, which we've yeah. been, as many have been through these years. But when you take it up a notch and it's like, it's a bitch involved, you can have that bitch at this <laughs> point. And she's yours. And you're hers. So, yeah, it's limitations Yo, I got a question it. for you personally. Get her. Why get me? I got a personal question for you. What? I feel like you know where I'm going with this. I never know. How is this? I never yeah, know. Facts, facts. This is love and hip hop shit. Yeah. How yeah. is this for you? It's love and hip hop shit. It's love and hip hop shit. You don't even got none your cup. And I knew what I was signing up for. Um, <laughs> love and hip hop has actually. The franchise franchise has reached out to me a few times. This ain't the first. And I'm a fan of the show. I'm not going to lie. I love some drama feel with some hip hop and some of my rap friends that I know. And I get to watch them on TV. And some I don't know I'm just a fan of. So I love the franchise. But I knew coming on to it, it was a goal. And the goal is going just how it's supposed to go. Like, Love & Hip Hop is a franchise that offers... Exposure. Millions of viewers to our brands. You know, where can you wake up on a Tuesday and be like, boop, this many million people saw me. Like, so it works, but it's an end goal. It's a stepping stone and it's reality TV. So this is why I love y'all. Can, can I be honest for a second? I probably should not do this. No, you probably do should. It. But I was drinking. I'm taking shots to what everybody's yeah. saying. So but I, get him now. Get him now. Sure. I interviewed um, uh, Erica Banks. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was telling her the same thing. Like, bro, like, love and hip-hop is love and hip-hop. It's, it's been that forever. Yeah. Like, no, they're going to just highlight me and what I got going on. Oh, like, she, she thought that. <laughs> she thought that? Bro, you know damn well. It, she thought that? <laughs> Wait, who? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Like, come on, bro. Like, Bang. you ain't, you oh, ain't right. that naive. She thought they was going hi- to highlight her. And the music, her yeah. music and like, her come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. So, yeah. do you and take I don't into, believe she believed that, by the way. Me you. either. That's but I, I don't I, believe she believed that's why that. I said I shouldn't say it. Do you think, like, does that ever, like, does any of that play play or internet shit, TV shit get to you? Because chaotic been going crazy. <laughs> I feel like no, but Poor it shot. could you, be you irritating. Started. Pour me some of yours. <laughs> does that get to you? Like, does that ever get irritated? Man, listen. One thing I know is Lou. And I know Lou tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But do I ever get irritated to you? Just for the simple fact that I know how I am. And I know how much I give. And I know I don't do it out of, like, trying to be somebody that I'm not Mm. or trying to give too much. Mm. So it's like whenever I do see somebody like that, you know, that may be doing a little bit too much more, you know what I'm saying? Then what need to be done and be like, well, you know, some people know what they want or what this want and they give it to them. But no, I'm, I, I, yeah, it'd be funny. It'd be funny. You know what amazes me about the show? Like we've been watching it for so long and people really watch it. And still to this day be like, I got, I know y'all, I got y'all figured out. I know everything. And it's almost like, 
it's 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 sad to me. It's scary, but at the same time, well, Jay, we know. are entertainment. Okay, this is artistry. This is entertainment. It's a form of artistry. So we literally all be like kind of cheering and laughing to the bank a little bit in a sense, but getting wrapped into it. Like the whole chaotic situation. I know a lot of people were so confused about that, but it's like. This is the same scenario that's been going on on this show, kind of. Just with a different spin, a different twist. And if you're not watching it, entertained and understand it, like, you will watch a movie all day long. And, like, you will love that movie. You'll watch it four times a year. But the reality stars, we come in, it's like, let me show you a little bit of this story with a little dramatization to it. But for us, we get the comments like, oh, you and chaotic this, you and Mozzie this. It's like... Shame on you for buying into it so much. We are giving you a story. This is hip hop. This is what's dating. Y'all don't get to see the full scene. You're only seeing 30 minutes of hours of filming. Uh, So the little 30 minutes you got, always know it was more to that, but you had to get the best and the most juicy part of the 30 minutes. So what I will say is I never watched one episode ever. Sorry. I still love you the same. It's okay. Remember you dropped the- It hurts. you You dropped the song. I haven't either. Yes. I don't know if you've seen the comment. I said, this is what we want. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. But my girl watched it. Right. And what I will say is, she was like, y'all, I only watched it for Amy because, like, we've been rocking with y'all. She was like, yo, she give me Amy. Thank you, sis. She, she was like, yo, she give me Amy. Yeah. And that's what I can say that too now. She, 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 like, she said, she was like, yo, I fuck with Amy. She was like, yo, she she's ain't her. nothing. So what mm-hmm. I will ask, I want to ask, like, how much is it them trying to push a narrative? Love and hip hop. I can say, honestly, when I came on to Love and Hip Hop, I thought they were pushing narratives to that degree. But honestly, this is a real situation. It's like, hey, Amy, we love your brand. We love what you do. We see the potential, you know, because if you see a lot of people come on and they glow up on the show. So these producers are basing you off of watching you gradually grow for the next couple years, assuming you're going to stay on the show. So them coming into it like, hey, we heard you had a public breakup. We love Mozzie. They casted me and Mozzie before. People, it's so yeah, much yeah, tea. See, yeah, 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 facts. We did a... We can't say too much about the original casting, but... Why not? We were is on the... Sh- it's It's contracted and it's like... Fuck him, fuck it, the fuck new it. season is the focus, so... This is not the first time. It just made more sense this time. Yeah, man, crazy. <laughs> what are you doing in the corner that got him smiling like I that? Got, I ain't saying... Yo, I, 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 I just see goals in my pocket. I'm trying to do a regular interview. I try to do a regular interview. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I can too. say this on Love and Hip Hop, you are going to get the <laughs> truth and what's really going on. But see, with us, it's real time. So, this is really going on. We really are a couple who broke up. It wasn't for Love and Hip Hop that came after. Like, and you are really watching the same stuff you and your baby father or your boyfriend or your ex fiance or your ex husband, the same scenario y'all going through. The woman had an issue or the man had an issue. They didn't see eye to eye. They parted ways. Things separated. They brought it back. It's the same scenario just being played out on TV. All right. I'm sorry. Forget the interview for a second. People really think like it's like a script. Tell them minds, please. What? Tell my the breakup? Yes. People really this, think it's- to, to, this de- to this day. Who said that in the y'all interview? To this to, day. Y'all ain't got to try to act like y'all broke up to do- Boy. That irritates me so much. I was dead ass serious when I felt like I felt. To I'm, this day, I, like, I, I was going through know. a real heartbreak leaving this man. It's, Fuck, it, it real heartbreak. Terrible. I'm not trying to throw shit. Like, like my series. goddamn foundation had just collapsed. Yo, y'all gonna put the uh, thing I had them built. The what back together? The what? The what? Y'all gonna put it back on? Well, here's the thing. I'm still trying to Do figure what? out what happened with the engagement ring. What a ring at? It's a lot of stuff that happened during. Good question. I'm gonna shut up. You sold it back? I'm with that. I mean. Okay. Well, if you with that. Did you sell it back? You give it back? Damn. What did you say? Answer it. Because you didn't answer it today what on the show. Where the ring at? Because I'm just saying, why is we worried about this damn ring? The love ain't went no damn well. Where the ring at, nigga? Exactly. Would you have held hey, on to the ring? Hell no. Somebody give you something that you done gave somebody. If I done got on my knees for the first time ever in my life. You done been on your knees with me multiple times. Yeah, I was laying on my stomach. We was in the bed. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but if I get on my knees and do some shit I ain't never did and did it very sincerely, just because of however, you know, it played out, 
Hey. Then you get rid of the ring. I ain't just saying I get rid of it, but it so where be, is the it ring? Be, Where's the ring? Man? It shouldn't be. Where, where, where is the ring? You shouldn't give a damn where. where it's so I'm asking. Actually, I do because I feel like we are definitely in the space of fiance okay, is on again. Where the ring? Where the ring? Where the ring? I'm gonna just say this. I made some mistakes in the relationship during the relationship that caused the proposal to not fall through with the marriage. So. We're just going to do this thing all over so again. So where the ring at? It don't matter. It do, because I still want to I'm know. curious. I only, only I, So you gave a political correct, correct answer. Me, personally? I I've been asking. I'm going to say, because me. Get that bitch right back. All right, okay, I'm going to say, because me, selling a ring is different. Listen. I gave that bitch bite. Let me tell you. Let me, let me be real with you. <laughs> so when you buy a ring, right? Huh? I should, I should probably should By the way, public. this is the first time me hearing he pond. But everybody know this. I, I might shouldn't say this publicly, but I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Steve Harvey. I like that. I love that for you. Listen, when you when you buy a ring, right? Niggas gonna hit me for this. You keep it. No, you can appraise it for a different price. I know. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So. If you get rid of it, you can you get that different price. You trying to have his back right now. No, no, I'm just saying, I'm, just I'm being saying, real. At the time, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I had just got up a, out of a relationship that I was very, very much well She took the mansion. She took the cars. Yeah. I can't take well, nothing. Well, I ain't going to say she ain't she, she take the cars. No, I can't say that. I thought like, you said you took the cars. Nah. She, I couldn't she, take a car that's his. It, it, it was just more of it was just more of the, the time capacity Keep that she gave now. me to do what I needed to do. Okay. In order to get out, but she never, she never, you know, even with my vehicles, even though they was in her name, I paid for them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, at my that credit time, got him. He paid for him. You were supposed to leave. At with that him. time, at that time, I'm fucked up. Yeah, you right. kicking me. That's the whole reason we. He break, thought like that's a the whole man. Reason we breaking up. No, let's talk about it. He thought like Why a man. Why am I gonna take this motherfucker? He thought like a man. Bitch, you leaving like, me? I'm sticking you with everything. Nah, he probably that, wanted that the was bag. not. That's not. I swear on the unit. That wasn't it. It was more of if I know I wasn't able to do this shit or if I know I hadn't got to a point where it wasn't happening now, hey, the shit that I'm finna go through in this year or however long we not gonna be together, I don't need yo, that shit on my own. Let me ask you this, I'm gonna be real. As a nigga, right? As a man, how much you was hating when she said, All right, cool, cool, you keep the you keep the YouTube, I start my own shit. Mm. She started her own shit day one, seventy. Be better, not bitter, ladies. 70,000 subscribers. He was, I did it. It was 66,000. It was out there right here with him. It was uh, 70 piece. Yes, it was 66. In a day. No. Are you crazy? A day, no, it was two weeks. Oh, yeah, two weeks. Are you seeing me? There we go. Mozzie, it was two weeks. But it made sense, though. Because hell, you even when we start out with YouTube, we got up to three something. And, I'm and not listening to what I'm overnight, saying. Overnight, too. You, so listen, I can see. Y'all was fighting for YouTube. You oh, no, I wasn't tripping. On everything oh, I you was. A great, you're a good man. I'm telling you, you better I was. Me. I'm more on tripping. Fuck the YouTube. Yeah, you talking about? <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, what? yeah. Say it, say I'm it. tripping on some other. Fuck you. She won't have a what I'm talking about. Or the YouTube I shit. And I felt like I was that supposed to get half of some shit that she had going on. And I was supposed to get half of the YouTube. Okay. Well, you could have. And we would have did everything you the right way. You could have got half of that thing, yeah, thing, thing. Right. If you would have did yeah. the right thing with wait, YouTube. Wait, wait, wait. I was trying to tell you. We said with the vendor? Yeah. You said with the hair? <laughs> this motherfucker was making money. Don't get it fucked up. Hold on. Let me wait, stop this. Wait, what y'all talking about? Yeah. Let me stop this. Because, yeah, me and Lou had a fucking YouTube together that we made good money And when we broke up, I was supposed to get 50% like a wife. But the YouTube, Lou was making great money off of the hair bender that she was selling. Motherfucker, was. one day we woke up, it was 10, mm. 20, 30, 40, until it was, you know what I'm saying? And it's, I'm talking about every day. And it's time. hair though? Oh, yeah. man, come on, man. So we're talking about something that's totally like, no, we're not going to do that. So you I still should have got half of that YouTube. No, the hell you shouldn't have. Not if I didn't get half of that. How much you was bringing in after she left? Huh? <laughs> How much you was bringing in after she left? After she left? <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> Well, it's according to... It's a, Nigga, what's the you, number? YouTube is the only... like. How much you was bringing in? He was getting it in. I was supposed to get half of that. How much you was bringing in? I was supposed to get on, half listen, of that. Hear me out. You got to think. A lot of the bringing in was from YouTube. Yeah, how much you was bringing in from the YouTube? About a 10. After the breakup? By yourself? Uh, even even no, you after videos? the breakup, it probably had them dropped about a five. Okay, that's what I was curious. When you did, the, you, you, did, uh, you did OnlyFans or Patreon? You did OnlyFans. Yeah, I ran up about two bands off that bitch. 
Off of OnlyFans? That's not bad. Is showing your dick? Mm, I, no, he was I, talking I, about the breakup. I didn't even talk I'm about that. I'm going to say, friend, tell me about that. Me. I ain't know about that. Mother was just ready to see what that, and then I had some ladies that were ready. Ladies, y'all just chill. If this shit happened again, I'd be on there slaying. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> <laughs> you know how mad I'd have been if you slamming, uh, slanging them peanuts on there? I'd have been pissed off. Yeah. Yo, how is it now though? Like y'all back together? Like, is it is it kind of hard? Is it? Weird? I want restitution from the YouTube. I'm, I'm joking. Man, yeah, I'm joking. I'm my joking. Dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got my problems, my issues, and stuff that I had to deal with, and stuff that I'm still dealing with, and we might need some counseling, this and then the third. But this is my. It's it's, it's going good. I can say I'm this. So we talked about it a little bit this morning today. on the uh, radio, but I I will say I want to be real with fans. I feel like a lot of people fell in love with us for being authentic. Mm -hmm. Last interview I did about four months ago, I said, I don't have no regrets on a breakup. I don't have no regrets of leaving him, telling him to get his shit together and come back and find me when you got it together. But I will say this. You got some regrets? I got one. What? Why you feel like I'm finna butter you up? I just, I just, I, I just feel like if you got any regrets, like, it's like, okay, so. Cause what if I said I regret not staying gone? Mm. What's your regret? And uh, I really do regret um, I just the response. No, seriously, because you know this is serious to me. This is real to me. I didn't commit six years to this no, over bullshit. Right I That's why I wear my glasses. Because yeah, gangsters <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> gangsters don't cry. No, but for real, I will say, not even thinking about the cameras, like, I actually do have a regret from our breakup. I think that. I listened to a lot of people in my ear when we were planning the wedding. And I think that the people who were, although I respect their opinions, that's why I asked them. I think that they were people who were in a different time zone, birth zone, age zone that don't really compare and understand like our scenario was a little different. Just like my aunties and my mom and my granny and my OGs, they didn't understand the type of money we were making. All they knew is from what I was telling them, like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, my regret, honestly, is, like, even sharing it with people, I should have really made my mm. pen off of myself. Mm. And I can say, like, for the first time that the wedding did panic me. And it. the commitment of feeling like, damn, we making this money, you being irresponsible with the money. Because to me, that is irresponsible. When you come and drip in designer and you paying for hours of studio time and videos and we were supposed to be fixing a pool and getting all this stuff fixed in the house. To me as a woman, irresponsible. But to you, you feel like, however you feel, you it feel like I'm no investing fail. in me, was, however you feel. I was feel. just doing what I only knew, you know what I'm saying? At the so, time, I felt like I was, it was selfish. Yeah. So I was asking people's opinions who are not into what we're into. And all they were saying is, a man should work, work, work and provide and provide and give you this. And I kind of panicked eight months before the wedding. And although I feel like I did honestly mean the breakup, I meant it. If I could do it again, I feel like I could have more privately did it off of my opinion versus like mm. the people around me's opinions because it was my choice. But me asking my mentors, they were like, listen, you understand when you marry, if you have a person that's blowing through money and is living this type of lifestyle, y'all income becomes one. Yes, it was a panic. Yes, you were obviously showing stuff that was starting to feel like you only worry about your music career. You worried about you looking the part and you whatever. I was just trying to make sure I got it. Cause at the time you was more the one that handled like, like you, you was more managing and like, like you said, you, but that from, was, I didn't want to, I knew you it. Made so me have the to reason manage. I was investing, the reason I was doing these things for me is because I was trying to be able to get myself together in order to be able to do shit for you as well. And I understand so that. So my focus but... on d doubling down on just like, man, get your shit. Get, like, like it, it may did, you know, give off a selfish type of vibe. It did. You know what I'm saying? Just it did. Yeah. Not maybe, it was. And I appreciate that. Like just what you said, like I can see the sincerity in it. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I, so not I appreciate, do you, I mean, you, you want to say something else? I'm just saying, like maybe apologize, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like of course, most definitely. I'm sorry for not being able to, you know, uh, what can I say? I could just say, like, 
fit the shoes that I was probably supposed to be wearing at the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like the most important thing, man, I just feel like it's you, is I love you and I'm willing to do whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Like to learn and to move forward and, you know, for you. Right. And not just for you, for me and the shit that I'm, that's the for whole us, though, list. It's not right. for me. It's I'm not a us. person that go and get easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I'm going to get somebody who I know I can run over. I like a strong, I like somebody who, if I'm gone or if I need to, if I'm sick or I'm done, oh, this who y'all got to hear from. This who running it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like to have her and to know that she's not doing that but molding and shaping me to be a better person because I pick someone who, I know all the stuff that I'm great at. I know the things that I'm bad at. So if mm -hmm. I pick a person who I know is going to fix these things, what that? You think I'm you think I'm someone who don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I just went at this because, oh, you know, this is a good thing, do it because she's fine. Oh, this is more than beauty, baby. This brain. Mm. Mm. Well, that's a different tune than you were singing last year when you were upset. Oh, because I was I was pissed. Because you know, last year it was given I was the villain. You was. How? You was the op. I was definitely given the op and the villain you last year. And that's a good nice blow to social media behind it. Man, that's the other media. part that sucks about what we're doing. It's like to be able to go through a breakup and grieve and like be in a corner like, yo, I'm crying. Although I broke up with him, it's weird that y'all don't understand that a person can leave somebody and still not want to do it. But the social media, like it's. The folks love to. Yo, so wait, because. Ooh, Maybe uh, I'm I'm biased. I'm sorry. You know I'm on your side, but I'm a little biased. Me too. Yeah, I'm on your side. Oh, y'all both on my side. I'm on your side, but I'm a little biased. Y'all was not on my side in the interview. Amy, they see this. Amy, you was yeah. You was really faking for the gram too. How so, bro? You was showing you was having fun. And pools and right. bro, you I want to speak on that. There you you was showing you, you was having fun. I want to speak on That's that. That's hurtful. You go. There you go. That hurt. I want to speak on that. That was because you me. asked me that in the interview. You was like, Amy, I just saw your pool is party. Is we on a Jay Hill show or not? There I'm gonna go. pour me a shot first. <laughs> there we go, bro. Because I want to speak on that. She was faking. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? That should have hurt my heart. Like, you see, you feel what I'm saying? Bro, shot. Wait, then you take a picture with uh. Took pictures with rappers and shit. I did. What uh? What's the rapper name from uh Detroit? What's Go the nigga ahead, name? Name it. Name what's the nigga name? It. Uh, uh, somebody I don't know, know the short his nigga. name. <laughs> the short. What's the nigga? I don't know. No, his not name. for No, no. Throw it in. No. Say it out loud. Throw it Sada baby. There yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> like nigga, someone got pictures. Like. <laughs> nigga, I said, say it out loud. <laughs> it was. It was faking, like, and I knew she was just doing it just to, like, she ain't, she ain't want to. She probably just doing it just to, like, antagonize. Man, you done made me sweat my frontal to just start lifting up. She antagonizing, up. like, you my ain't front. shit. Let me say this. Let me say this. I'm going to stand on being a real, can I cuss? Go ahead. A real bitch. My fans fuck with me for being a real bitch. They don't fuck with me for being, having number ones, being the richest, being the finest, being a da-da-da. The real, that's why they fuck with me. They don't go nowhere because you don't get the realness no more. Mm -hmm. I was being real from the moment that Maz and I broke up. When I say that pool party, it was already planned. So I, if you notice at the pool party, everybody was in the comments like, she don't even look like she happy sitting on that flow. I had to, I was knocking them back and I was still sitting there like, everybody who walked in the door is not my fan. This is not a person I was with. So okay. I had a financial budget spent for that pool party. I had people committed to flights to fly in. I had to continue with the pool party, but I can say those who really know me know that when we broke up, I was, I was instantly down about 25 pounds in seven months. I was really going through it now because that's why I say our scenario is different. I'm still obligated to a couple of um, contracts for brands. I still got to take this pretty picture. I still got to go post this. I still got to go advertise this. So my situation wasn't like a lot of people who are lucky to go through such a breakup after so many years and be like, I can disappear. It was like, bitch, you broke up with him on Sunday. On Thursday, you better have our video. Mm. And you better look pretty while you're doing it. And we want to see you smile. You wasn't, so You wasn't obligated to the side of baby pic, though. 
Well, I'm going to just that say. That is a good. I'm, I'm you know, just, I'm going to hold up. I'm going to hold up. You know, hold up. No, no, I don't take up for it. I don't take up for it because she wants to take up for it. I'm going to take up for it. I'm going to take up for it. I'm going to take up for it. Oh, but yeah, she's seen. Was that what before or after this little secret? I was on bullshit during our breakup. Oh, she And none of it was real. I was. I didn't. I didn't pay attention. Did You didn't see it. See, he don't. I'm not. Well, listen. You did, did you, he didn't see nothing. Listen to oh, me. you ain't see what I'm talking about? Well, no. On, on, on everything I love. Listen, that's what I was just telling no, you. No, let's get to the bullshit because you was on bull. Okay, but hold on. Oh, hold he on. was let on me, bullshit let me too say now. This, that, can you hear me? Hear me? Hear me? <laughs> hear me now. Because just know during the breakup, First I was all, like a little outside. Me. He was outside. Hear me? I just want to say this. I'm not big Nigga, on you like. Came I, right did, here. Okay, right here. <laughs> well, I'm not big on just, you know, like. This is the first relationship that I just done had in the forefront. Mm. Okay, well, this is the second relationship that I have been in. So I'm not big on just saying, oh, you Mises or I'm your, your old, old man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Yeah, so I probably kept it quiet, but I was outside as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So just to say that. You told me you wasn't outside during a breakup. I'm just telling you. I was outside. You feel what I'm saying? I had like I, I had to do what I had to do as well. And I'm not tripping on whoever came and did whatever. Whoever came, hey, salute. So you was outside. <laughs> salute. I salute you <laughs> for real. But I'm just telling you who I am. Like I actually one of my partners, like, bro, you probably need to just show Amen who Mazi. I mean, who who was it? Who, I want to know his name because you're not at the wedding. Just, Motherfucker. Listen, because she only been getting you ain't at the, the wedding. Mazi and Amy. The Amy Mazi type of situation. He Bruh. knew you before me? What? What? Did listen, he know you before that's me? That's why it's so he easy. Should've to get me Mazi he should have been getting Mazi before me. Fact, I don't worry about no nah, shit. Nah, niggas like, sleep on that. That's you know a fact. what I'm saying? So, of course, a nigga that done made sure he done put this fine tenderoni thing right here on this. You know, like, like just. Done. I want to know your friend name first and last who said that. Who told you to like hop you outside said, in the street? A nigga going to be waiting for that. I say this. I, I was. Tripping on. It was a year of being single. It was a year of like you I haven't dated. Dead wrong, though. Was I dead wrong, bro? You know niggas is going to know who is who, bro. It wasn't planned. That was bullshit. It was bullshit. I can say that. That what was you know? bullshit. I'm telling you, as a dog, it's my home. When you gonna call his bullshit? You ain't I mean, but chat. I didn't have no, no bullshit. But, but but even still, Mazi go, what, oh, I didn't. Oh, Mazi don't know that he slept with a girl who saw what I did six years ago. Mazi don't know that he slept with a girl who saw what I did six years ago. Mazi don't know that he slept with a girl who saw what I did six years ago. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Six Amy, years I got ago, you. I was She's sewing that half of hair. Amy, I'm a fighter when I see her. Wait, wait, I got you, because I don't know if it's the same girl. Okay, you gonna know. But Mazi. When I beat her ass. You was juicing this, because she was my assistant. You was juicing the shit out this fucking chick that was the whole fucking music video rollout. Hello. You oh, was she's juicing not, no, wait, wait, the shit wait, wait, out listen, that. Listen, that this your people? The, well, I don't no, want to fight no, her. No, this listen, your people? No. I want to fight listen, her. Listen, hold on. Wait a fucking minute because there was no, a lot of people in the comments people. that made a lot of sense. You was dragging First that, of all, was, that was the second video. The first video. I will fight her. The first and video her was a little secret and it was... The name of the song, You're My Victoria. And it looked like the can girl's supposed to look like me. I'm going to shut up and drink, but I will beat that girl. The girl up. don't look can like I me talk? at all, though. I, okay, the name of the song was Lil Secret. I'm an artist. Like she said, I, had, I handed her a CD the day we met. So the name of the song was Lil Secret. You're My Victoria. You're My Lil Secret. Okay, so that was after the I'm breakup. Find that we talking about um, hold my on, older sister? Wait a minute. So after shooting Lil Secret and having a a picture of a female kind of look like me from the back. She ain't look uh, nothing but, like you. Uh, like, you you like, saw what was going on. Like like what I'm saying is it could have been any female that Mize went and posted and did a picture with. What you wanted to be a light skinned girl, short. What you want? What you wanted? I'm gonna say she ain't look like this you. This the type of female the that I've got on my age. knees to marry. They wanted the opposite of your fiance. No, father, what sense did that make? Amy, I ain't gonna lie. She ain't look nothing sense? like you. Maybe I'm but delusional. No, I don't no, know. No, 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 I'm just like my emotions is evolved. I'm delusional sometimes. Tall. Well, you she, know, wait, height. Wait, wait. Let me, let me make sure. Are we talking about the same person? Because the girl I'm talking about don't look like you. No, you're not. He's trying, trying to dance over different. whatever girl you talking about. We're That's talking another about girl I want to fight. That's different. I'm talking about my old assistant. His old assistant. She don't look like you, though. That was down the line. It was another girl. I'm I'm starting shit, my bad. No, keep it going. What's up? What's happening up? 
You talking about uh shit? Did somebody get what's her name? What's her name? Um, hold up, get seven. I don't. I I, I promise you, it was on it for the video. So and you smashing his homies, assistant? I think one of my homies he told me that he hit her. No, and my then oldest is like, bro. I hope you ain't trying. I say no, bro. This is a video shoot. That's what I'm telling you. But, but we talking about another girl. Anything I'm I talking about on is Instagram. You was dragging that though. You was dragging it. You was. You made. I will fuck her up. You was making that. A point of emphasis. You was like no, this going because no. I hit you. I was like, "You smart." No, on the it hurt my on, heart. On the universe, it hurt my bro, feelings. I hit you like you smart. On the universe, the first one, like I said, a little secret. I was doing that because the name of the song, and I said, "You know what? It'll be fine if we do the video and don't even show the girl face because they gonna want to know who the fuck it is." Yeah. Okay. So why would the, they want to know a book female, a book model? We don't care who the book model is. because it's my yeah, 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 who's had a female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. So that's true, then that's the true. next one, it was that's like. True. I didn't even do no little secret. It wasn't no hiding her face. It was showing her face. Yeah. And it wasn't me. Why, they, why listen to me? Why did you line them girls up in the line to get beat up like that? I that had my smart, sister finna beat why one of them girls up. That was smart, though. That was marketing. Hold on. What you I say? had one you of my sisters finna beat sure one of them girls up one day. <laughs> I say no. Jay Hill, listen to me. Boy, listen. No. I'm not. If anything, I'm a type of person. If I show you something, you ought to be worried about something totally different. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Let me tell you it's something. What's, what was the girl's name? My yeah. old assistant? They not yeah, say her yeah. name. I don't weird. got no smoke on her. Shaniqua. Sha no, I'm not. Shaniqua. Shaniqua. No. Shaniqua. T. T. My old assistant. Block that out. Give me a time T. I don't know T. Block the T out. Look, let me look at you. You was trying to smash T? <laughs> The young oh, chick. Yeah, oh, we, we wild. We outside. We outside. Oh, everything out. Was you trying to smash T? I will, I'm saying. Block the name out. <laughs> I was not trying to, well, I'm just saying. I, the girl like, with the big butt, right? That's what I'm talking about. That's oh, what I'm talking about. Oh, he love big booties. Ah, That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all like that? <laughs> By the way. We're going to block the name out. We're going to block the name out. We're going to block the name out. At the time, I was up. You got it? You got at it? The, at the time, I was single. And so, ready to meet. And the audio, too. The so, audio. yeah, I probably I probably would have at the time, but no, it ain't nothing that I was just going for. I don't know. I didn't go for it. I, was I, I think I told you that you was on Just bullshit. know in that little year breakup, it was one for me, and it was multiple for him. So, she I'm just saying, she we set the tone of the difference with y'all versus that's us. Why I just girl, to talk so about that the should cat. be that. Though. Why no. is it the difference with the girl? Because I hope you're not smashing multiple niggas. I'm going to give you three. I ain't mad at, I would say two, but I ain't mad at three. I would give you I would a give year, you one. I'll give you three. I'll I would give me two. I'm gonna give you three. I would I give me two. As a girl, you would give a girl three. I'm, I'm two. talking about I'm talking about a female. Talking to Mike, nigga. I'm talking about a female who I feel like not nah, cause it's somebody there who in a year. I give a, you a, woman, seven. a man, you gonna give a man two. No, I'm gonna give him seven. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give me one. But I'm gonna give him two I, for flattery. Like girl, I feel like a girl could get two. I, I wouldn't be mad at two. Okay, I give, so I, nah, that's why I, I, I mean, threw the three. That's why I threw the three wait, just for Don't add a three. Not gonna no, lie, don't two, add no three. Two would hurt my heart. It would hurt my feelings, but I and would... And three is understand. definitely a hoe. Three, yeah, three is a... So stop playing. Two, I would be like, ah, I just said what man. I had. In a year. In a year. I'll three be, in a year. As a full woman. I, I would be hurt. I would be... I probably... Two is a... I would oh, but y'all... What? I done dealt with women. Yeah. So, so, I'm, I'm, you, I'm just saying, but I, your woman? With, I'm, I ain't talking about my woman. I'm talking about your woman. I'm talking about your woman. I'm talking about your woman. What would you give me in a year? Give me my bodies in a year. Your woman, I'll be hurt. No, Three? tell me my but, bodies but in a year. Think, if I got to give you anything, you're not my woman. No, no, no. We just hype with that. When I was, when we was broke up for a year, give me my bodies in a year. How many bodies I caught in a year? Me. If you got two, I'll be okay. I'll be hurt, but I'll be okay. Two, I'll be hurt, but I'll be okay. No. Two. But let me give you yours. Seven and a half. Is but seven enough. not bad, though. Because the last one was a nothing ass bitch. Seven not half. bad, though. Seven not bad, though. Seven? For a nigga, for a year, seven not bad. Because you can, you can rack up at least 25. Easy. I'm just saying. 25? You can get 25 easy. I won't tell you. Because he lied to your ass. You need time that my You can do 25 easy. I ain't hit no 20. I'm, I, well. Easy. I, all, the thing, all the thing I'm saying Y'all men are, y'all some different. Y'all are definitely a different species. We are. Hell. 25 in a year is giving me. You can get me. 25 in a three weeks. You got to think. Just think, just just put something out. Like, if you got. 25 you know, girls right I'm here. You would smash 20. 25 or 25. Not did, 25 girls right here. Talking about. I'm just talking about do seven. the, 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 the do access seven. of He's a done man. seven. He the don't know I know. No, man. I'm saying if it was 25 right here, you probably would do seven. That's crazy. Did you do all 25? That's disgusting. 
To do all, if it's 25 girls right here and to do all 25, nah. Are you giving seven out of 25? I'm not judging you. That's not bad. Seven out of 25 ain't bad, though. That's what not bad. That's not bad. I can see. I can, I can see. That's not bad for wait, a man. Wait, wait, what, what, what are we, what are we, what are we judging it off of? Because hey, we're talking about be, giving your you body. Can, you can fuck around there. Oh my God. Nah, see, we're not, Thank we're, you. we're not, giving your we're body. not y'all. Y'all are the ones who got to let someone enter. Talk that shit, my I'm dude. just saying, it's a difference out there. Ladies, they're crazy. They're I'm crazy. Talk no, no. that shit, my That's dude. a difference. It's a difference. It's very much so a difference. We just, just know, a, I, know that the blast of my past are over and gone in zone. Oh, no. No. Let me Seven is actually crazy. Seven is not bad for a year, Amy. It's actually crazy. For a year? Yes. After coming off the relationship, off a favorite off relationship? Off a five-year relationship? I'm not good with math, you but I'm doing enough. You lucky he ain't doing 100. <laughs> off a five-year relationship? Off the faithfulness? I so is that like two girls I been thanking every... My, listen, I would have been thanking you months? for breaking up with me. I would have been thanking you for breaking up with me. Easy. Like, oh, my... Yeah, off the, well, I'm not mad. I just hope... Did you have your fun? Oh, I'm through. Did you have it? I'm, 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 I'm married. Was it a good time? I'm, I'm so, yo, y'all, y'all, y'all officially back together? Officially? Because y'all keep doing this Instagram shit. I don't like it. Mm, good. I'm going to be real. I love you, but let me be real. Are y'all officially? I don't like the Instagram shit y'all doing. Well, at the time. We ain't you know, together. We was, we was, we was, we was, BFF. You like the, the BFF. I don't like it. Yeah. We came back as my person, my person, my BF, my BF. But now, right? I, yeah. I consider us together. I know, but so let me tell you my thing. So my thing is, as weird as this is, I felt like I left with fiance. She want to come back. And to come back as the girlfriend. I don't know your password to this man's phone you. yet. Ooh. I don't know it yet. But you know mine. Ooh. I don't. Stop I did. The game. I, I least, did know, but then she changed. Hey, Mazi, at least you know I'm neutral. Oh, no. I'm on your but side. But at the same time, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm on her hold side up. with this one. I'm and we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk real. I'm on her side with this one. With and we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk a real conversation. With? She she left a girlfriend. She left what? Come again? No, no. She left a fiance. She can't come back. Mm, just saying. That's why I like you. I, I'm fair. I was on your side with the hoes. I'm with you. Wait a minute. Okay. So can you? Okay. You. You. So you're still listening though, right? Uh oh. So as a man, Uh-oh. right? As a man, you know what I'm saying? Like Uh-oh. I understand how you would. Since we've go- been back, he done had my password oh, the whole time, and I have not ha- had his. I haven't asked for his. But do you think I want it? I do want it. Uh oh. I want you to sleep sometime, and I just get curious and go through the phone because I know you can do it. You got it, Mozzie. Go ahead. It's your turn. Is this her? I want that password. I want it. I want it in my hand. As a man, and like I said, the man that who I just told you who I was, and I'm not, I wasn't insecure about no one who she dated in the past or none of that. Well, me and what I think of a relationship and, you know, long lasting. I think it's going to take some time because I gave you all of me. I ain't got time. Take time for what, though? Li- huh? What time for what? Hold on. Wait. I'm talking to you. What do you mean? You know how we do. You know how we do. He wait said he needs time. You wait. know how we wait do. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up, wait. Amy. Hold up, Amy. I you gave know how you all do. of me. But time for what, though? What? Man, I'm, we talking. It's this time for me, though. Time for Beca- what, though? Because Let me if leave you, with it. You the one who dumped me. What that got to do with now? We over And you there. came back. Wait, Amy, hold up. I'm sorry. I'm going to shut my mouth. I apologize. Huh? I'm going to shut it. I apologize. I'm Me done talking talk. for the At rest the of the day. day I'm going to listen. My vision and who I am and where I'm the same direction that I'm you going to. You got yourself to, dumped. It doesn't never change. I don't give a damn if I got dumped or not or because of the shit that I was doing to get to my journey as a man. So... Me as a man and where I'm going, I need a woman beside me who, if it do get shaky, if this motherfucker get bumpy, I don't need to just give up on a nigga to have me thinking about some other shit. So do you How thinking, selfish. So for you to think you finna come back in this motherfucker to talk about, oh, I need to be this. Nah, we got to redo this. Because I, if, I if I feel like I didn't do right, I might need to come and approach this dick. So but you, you wait, came wait, wait, back. Up, Amy. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second, Amy. What you need? What you mean? I'm Damn. asking what you need. I need to approach this differently. I need to come back. How I should have came the first nigga. I, like I talk hey, to me in the mic. For Thirty thousand for the proposal. So next time the proposal might not even be shit. You might not even get what you you know. What, but I'm what you need? Okay, hold no, on. Wait, wait, hold up, Amy. Uh, 
let me sip then. Cause yeah, I'm get, talk. get some more drink. Hold, hold up, hold up. Pour it in my mouth. What you mean? What I need? Yeah, I'm asking. Like, menu, I got ten menu, seconds of this. Sip menu, too. menu, menu. What you mean? What, what you saying? What I need? Not nah, because I'm I'm saying like, what's up? Like, what what do you need to feel secure? To feel solid? To feel good? A bitch who gonna stay quiet and accept it all? It ain't oh, a, oh, no, oh, oh, no, no, not at all. That. No, no, no. I, I didn't I, mean to I, say I've that. I've never had an issue with hearing you out, understanding what you're saying, but. You, we was together five years, and we would have let that shit go there in that year. And if I did forget, because at the end of the day, this is the foundation that I feel like I built for myself as a man and someone who I've invested into as a man. Mm -hmm. So if that would have never happened, if we didn't see it through, then how are we going to see what the possibilities are? So what are? do you need? I'm, I'm asking you, what do you need? You didn't I answer need, the man's question. I need question. a lifetime. Hey, you talking about? I need, I need life. Or I need... Yeah, I need all that. So let me what ask you, you this. A, as, 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 a lie. As a, hold up, hold up, hold up. Not for real. I'm asking. I'm asking. You know, I love I love having conversations with my Amy. I'm having conversations with you as men. Men. Yeah. As a man, though, right? Do you feel like, do or do you not feel like, is our due diligence just to keep the foundation? Just curious. I'm asking you as a man. Fuck the I, interview. Fuck like this. Was like I said, we was talking about balance. The dingling hang and that cat. Fuck the, all that, man. I'm just saying. Some real shit. I'm, I'm just I'm telling you on some real shit. I don't go off of past relationships. I don't go off of uh what they call it when you have uh when people do something after generation after generation. Yeah, generation worth well and shit like No, nah, not generation worth. Generation words. curses. Um we get what tradition. you put Tradition, okay, okay. I don't go off all that shit. What we have is what we have. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? So if it's a scenario where you may be great at the things that I may be lacking at. You know what I'm saying? But we are together and we are moving forward. And we but it has to be a balance, though. Okay, because it is. No, it has how to do you be. Feel, but how do you feel secure in even getting back to what y'all had originally? How, do you, how, how can she make you feel secure, honestly? Good question. Like, how, like, because I hear what you're saying, but I'm asking, like, how, how can, if, if she, if it could be perfect for Mozzie, right? If it could be your way, how could she make you feel comfortable in your position to be like, yo, I'm 100% in this? Oh, just, I would just say, like, not every, every, every situation that we have that may be, you know, bumpy, don't just act like you, you know, giving up. Mm. If, you, if, you just, if you decide and say that you're with someone for the long ride, it shouldn't be all that like it. it it's but don't get it confused when we say we're here for the long ride to mean that we're here through everything after the drag through this, through this. When we say we're here for the young, let, let me say, let me, let me say it. I ain't gonna say well, we, I'm gonna say well, me, me, a me. When I say I'm here for the long haul, and I kind of feel like I represent a lot of black women. Okay. Okay. When we say we're here for the long haul, that doesn't mean I'm here, I'm committed for the long haul. So that means drag me from A through Z, and I'm going to pick up, put the Band-Aid on my knee, my chin, my back, my ass, and I'm going to get up and keep going with it. When I say I'm here with it for the long haul, we mean as long as it's balanced and it's going well. And when I say well, I don't mean perfect, meaning we might have had a bad week, a bad month, a bad year, a bad season, but... We both was equally trying. That is what we mean when we say we're in it for the long haul. I feel like as men, black men to black women, when we say we writers, I feel like somehow y'all interpret, you love me so much, you're going to go through all this thinking shit with me. And then y'all get it confused when we leave and say, I thought you loved me. How could you leave? It's like, love is, I don't believe in that bullshit that love don't have no limits. I don't believe in that. Every love have a limit. And the same That's grace true. that y'all want from a woman, okay. if I was to go sleep with different men and go do certain things, your love and grace would be way over with me. Because as a woman, I'm supposed to sit. I'm supposed to sit pretty. My legs supposed to stay closed. I'm supposed to stay and be a rider, right? But we're starting to lose this confusion of love. So, so I'm just supposed to be the provider, right? No, you're not. Oh, I'm just supposed, you're supposed to, to balance sure. it out with me. Okay, so just, just, like you, just like you saying, so just like how the things of me not managing and the things that I wasn't doing right. Okay, so say if I started doing these things to the T. Less lit for me. Happier but life for you. Now that game me to say, you know what? Me doing all this I, as a man, 
I feel like I'm a king. I need whatever need at my feet. But doing you know what all what? Because why don't I feel like I'm just a queen because I'm doing my portion? Oh, because it's like it's more than just you talking about me talking about, oh, we have or we doing it. No, no, we talking about we we speaking in general now for the men who providers. We people we're speaking for the providers, not the women who now may have a big following and got all these things going on. We're talking about the women that yeah, every you, know, day women. Sure, you know what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. like, so as a man who's done been putting in all this work, or the, for the men who put out all the work in and make sure the woman is straight or make sure everything's straight, you don't feel like, damn, you know what? Sometimes they might want to do whatever the hell they want to do. Men? Yeah. We, I feel like we need to get to that space first. You talking about a scenario that we're not in. Okay. That's that's irrelevant. If I'm saying I'm not the girl you know since you met me, I never been a bitch to say, I got money and you know it. You got money and you know it. You got an income. I never said it was like, I want to sit pretty and you bring everything to me. I said half and half. And people are against this in this world. Like mm. I'm the rare girl saying, like, I made a hundred thousand, you made a hundred thousand. Mortgage is six. Here go your three. I got my three. I don't feel like I'm asking for a lot and was never asked for a lot. I feel like the disconnect with us was almost like you were projecting how successful we were going to be. And I saw the same visual, but I feel like as a woman, I was kind of scaling back. You was making me almost feel like I was being too cheap. I was sitting on the money. I'm being a worry bug. You even said at one point, I, you feel like I'm trying to act like I'm your mama. And I'm thinking like, how am I trying to act like your mom? I'm just trying to foresee that. The income that's coming in, this is our blessing. It might change in two years, so we should kind of scale back. That's when we start disconnecting, because I feel like when I start being like, hey, when would you buy this? When would you buy this? Are you in the studio again? Are you still in the studio? Or like, I kind of felt like, yeah, I did want you to take your studio money and start investing in the house and start investing in stuff that I thought as a couple leaning to get married Oh no! Should be are, investing. You're absolutely in. right. I was not. I boy, once I did. But shit. where the what? Where, where do we compromise though? Just curious. Like where, it's like we couldn't we... find a middle. We just broke up. We couldn't find a middle. I became the mom to him. He became the person. Like I start feeling like you were investing in yourself. Like yeah, we saw the video quality get bigger. We saw the wardrobe get bigger. We saw their song start playlisting, and I was like almost kind of in the corner, like. I'm kind of, I was in a very tight situation. You're a man, you can't relate to being a girl who watches the money come in and watching a person be like, I was rapping before you. I'm about to invest something in me. Yeah, you should invest in you, but I felt like for a season, you should invest in you less. Mm. I did. And a lot of people, fans were like, Amy, you are tripping. I felt like before our breakup instead of resting in me invest in us basically us and to me us look like the wedding us the look house. like the house being paid off us look like what i've shared with you like yeah. it's not no secret our cars we got four cars yeah. amongst two people cars should be paid off at least two of the four should be paid off that's in my brain and his brain amy you should update your uh what was you saying upgrade your uh video quality you should get a better videographer. You should get this. And I'm like, yeah, I could use a better videographer. Yeah. I could. Uh, it was just certain things that I felt like if you had it and you was able to use it to get the better, you know, service or the better quality of things, then, hey, we ain't doing this for nothing. Yeah. We're working towards greatness, so we need to invest in great greatness. So again, Mozzie, before we get to Amy, because I got some shit for Amy. <clears throat> because we men. And my conversation with men is different. Like, it's honestly like she said, you know, she left her fiance. Mm, she probably not as comfortable coming back a girlfriend. That's understandable. I mean, we, we here now. We can understand that. <clears throat> what do you say to that? How do you move forward with that? Like, what do you say to your woman? Because like this is your, outside of, again, it's cliche, but fuck these cameras, fuck the Instagram, fuck the YouTube. Like, on some real shit, though, like, I, I'm not trying to be a counselor or nothing like that, but, well, like, yeah, just, no, you feel me? Know. Like, that's, I feel like you would feel the same way. You feel me? Like, let's let's put ourselves in somebody else's shoes for a second. That's what I'm saying. Me putting myself in my shoes, then. In somebody else's shoes, nigga, not your shoes. Well, I, I, I've never, I, 
listen, honestly, bro, I don't even, like you say, I don't even watch TV. I don't even get my, get invested in other people's lifestyle. I can only walk in mine. So, like, even with that, like I'm saying, bro, like, hey, I feel where I can, oh, I totally feel where you coming from. Oh, yeah, everything was all good, and I proposed, and you was a fiancé. So, yeah, of course you would want to come back a fiancé. Especially before moving back in but together. The same reason I can't, well, I'm back. You what? left, you back. So what I'm saying is, is I, I just, whenever that time do come, it's going to be whenever I feel like it. Because at the time, I was doing it because, shit, I loved her. I wanted to be with her. And... I want to at least hold it. Let me okay. Let me propose. Do you say you my fiance? Do you so think we moving back in together, can, not being engaged? So I can start preparing. You know what I'm saying? So hey, you my you this my this my fiance. Y'all know that right? This my fiance. So I did that for that reason. I were I probably I wasn't even ready at the time. Mm. Whoa, you wasn't. Mm -mm. See, you know, you share a lot of stuff with people. Now I wasn't let me ready. Get my at little the time. makeup palette. You but she had also said, hey, <laughs> she. <laughs> Talk about it. What did I say? Because you proposed well, you... to me out of nowhere. What did I say? But no, I know it. But I'm just saying this was a time. This was a little big. This before the proposal. But you was like, you know, yeah, you can. I said year five. OK, but what does that mean? How do you. How do you... I'm going to let Jay Hill ask the question. Because the question I would ask next would be, <laughs> how do you feel you weren't ready for something that I didn't even know you were doing, preparing for? it? Like, I didn't ask you to engage to me or propose to me. Like, right? I just, because I, I just told y'all who I was and where I was coming from and the shit that I didn't know. So my so question. So the only thing that I knew was, you know. So man, as a man. You're supposed to marry. As, marriage, as, you're as a man, to... I do understand. So a lot of people might not agree with this. I understand the pressure that can be put on men. Mm. So if a woman says, by et cetera, et cetera, like, we, we. Got pressure to fulfill that. I get that. My question is, I never said that, friend. What have you like? I so, can't sit here and say something I didn't say. I'm not. Okay. I never said that. Say what? I didn't say. That you engaged. Said. The, that we need to get engaged. Oh no, I didn't say you said about getting engaged. I was just, I just remember a conversation about something about progression, us buying a home, becoming engaged, like. Solidifying something. I bought some like time. Okay, yeah, I can. But I'm saying I can, I can understand the pressure from that, from a man, so I'm not even about to fight you with that. I get it. What have you learned from then to now, right? <clears throat> and if you learned something, I mean, you do you still not feel the same though? 